Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So in this lecture, I have given you this one project. Uh, so here, uh, all the footings are your slope footing, right? Now we'll try to understand how the uh, workout has to be done. Okay, everything remains the same. Only the thing is your concrete quantity and shattering quantity. I have explained you, but we'll try to do this uh, so that uh, you will have a uh, you know good uh, practice on this project also. Okay, this is another industrial project where a small uh, um, footings are coming up. So first, what we'll do, we'll write the footing here. So I'll show you all the drawings. See, this is one drawing. After this, uh, this is a uh, cross section for that. Okay, your depth of excavation is two meter, and you can see this is slow footing. What is, what is mentioned here? Okay, yeah. And then this is the footing plan, and this is your footing. This is your column C one, C two, C three are your columns, and C one column is four hundred by four fifty. C two column is four hundred by four fifty. Okay. Forget about all these things. This comes under the barbending schedule. You don't have to look into the steel reinforcement now. And next is schedule of footing reinforcement is given. Only two footings are there: F1 and F2. How many numbers? 16 number F1 and 8 number F2. And all these are the breadth, the length, D1, D2, D3, and so on. Okay. So what we'll do now? Uh, we'll quickly try to do the Excel sheet now. Only two footings are there. We can quickly finish it. So what I have done? I copied one of my footing. I mean, one of the Excel sheet like we did previously, and now I'll take out everything from here. Okay, this is not required. So only two footings we have: F1 and F2. Quickly note down the values. So my F1 footing is uh, 2300 by 2300, and this is 2900 by 2900. Okay, so we'll write here. Yeah. So this is yeah 2300 by 2300 and the next footing is 2900 2900 by 2900 okay and we'll see the depth part also so the depth is okay 23 and 20 the depth i don't know whether uh, whether i need to take d1 d2 d3 or so on so what i'll do i'll come here see in this part the cross section part it is mentioned so d1 is your overall depth d1 is a overall depth of the footing and d2 is a, this particular depth okay so now first quantity what we are finding we are finding the excavation quantity so i'll go back to this yeah okay yeah this will be excavation quantity but here i need to input no so for that what i'm supposed to do i have to come here i have to take this particular por portion that means i'll tell you see d1 is the overall depth of your footing okay so it is mentioned d1 so you in this drawing in this drawing you have to check for d1 yeah uh, where is my d1 wait Yeah, it is here. Okay, D one. So D one is how much? Six hundred. And here also D one is six hundred. So what you can do in the Excel sheet, write this as six hundred. Okay, six hundred. Whereas F two by default it is six hundred. Now you'll find the excavation quantity. Before that, F one and F two I need numbers. For numbers again, it is mentioned here. How many numbers? F one. F one is sixteen number. F two is eight number. So input that sixteen and eight. So we'll input sixteen here. And we'll input eight here. Okay, done. Now coming to this, this one. How you are going to do this? Again, uh, this uh, this this will be zero point three. Whereas the PCC offset for the PCC offset, I'll refer the drawing. Let me check whether in the drawing they mentioned something or not. Okay, so for that, yeah, I have to refer this drawing. So here, if you see, this is my PCC offset, isn't it? See. This is PCC offset, and this is also PCC offset. So here it is mentioned seventy five typical. Okay, seventy five TYP means typical. Typical means for all the footing it is same. Here for one footing they have shown that is a typical cross section. Okay, so when they write typical it means for all the footing. If you have ten footing F one F two F three for all the ten footing you have to keep your PCC offset seventy five on the right side, and here also it is seventy five. Okay, got it. So what I will do? I will go to the Excel sheet. Here, let me do that. So it is 
uh, how much 75 isn't it so i have to make this as 75 okay and then uh, this also i need to make 75 you're getting my point 0 0.3 remains constant for all and this i need to make 2.3 done so i'll get 3.05 just drag it in this way fine next one is 2.9 so here what you're going to do here i'll di directly change it so i'll make it as 2.9 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.075 and plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.075 understood okay 3.65 and this will be 3.65 done now coming to the depth of excavation so in the depth part what you're supposed to do go back to the drawing so this is the depth here you see this is my natural ground level that is your finished ground level from here your exca excavation will start and you see the excavation how much it is mentioned 2000 mm that is 2 meter but this is given up to the top of the pcc we are supposed to go till the bottom and the bottom this thickness is already mentioned 75 that means 2000 plus 75 i need to add which comes out to be 2075 so your depth will be how much your depth will be 2.075 isn't it yeah so 2000 plus 75 comes out to be two yeah two point uh, 075 okay same thing i'll drag it here also done Fit. yeah done you got the quantity now so the total excavation quantity will be 530 cubic meter so this answer yeah 16 plus it is 24 footing so if you want we'll verify it once quickly okay let me verify that so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 and 24 exactly 24 and manual calculation i mean here also we got 24 done earthquake we are earthquake quantity you're done next what we have you go back to the drawing again yeah go back to the drawing so in the drawing check in the cross section whether you have any other things see in the typical cross section directly we have pcc and the thickness of pcc is 75 mm okay so directly come here so we'll go with the pcc part we'll go with the pcc it's given here this entire thing i'll delete okay this entire thing i'll delete or i think i can keep it okay i'll keep it on this part i'll co copy from here okay so this part i'll copy Control C. I'll bring it here. Control V. And this from F3, it is not required. Okay, done. So F3, F1 is done. This will be in uh, cubic meter. 16, it is 24. Now come here. So how much it will be? So this I need to change. Okay. So I'll completely write it. So I'm calculating now. 2.3 plus 0 0.075 on the left side plus 0 0.075 on the right side. Got it? So it is to, this time no working space will be added similarly here also you do the same thing so it is again uh, 2.9 plus 0 0.075 plus 0 0.075 this is offset okay i'm adding the pcc offset on both the side and now coming to the thickness so thickness what was mentioned in the drawing it was 75 mm right so this was 75 mm this is 75 so i'll just put here 75 that is 0 0.075 and this also 0 0.075 done you got your answer the total pcc quantity is 12.78 cubic meter next very important is the footing shuttering quantity so again footing shuttering how we are supposed to do it's simple but you need to take care of the depth so i'll uh, yeah i'll copy this part on the this much i'll copy control c so footing shuttering i'll write here control v the rest things not required okay and this will be in square meter and okay you make it in square meter oh, fine now coming to this part so it will be perimeter now okay so it will be perimeter so again try to do the calculation so it will be 4 into 2.3 and here it will be 4 into 2.9 2.9 okay fine now coming to the depth see this depth whatever you have no this is the overall depth this 600 and 600 is the overall depth now you need to be very careful i'll explain what exactly we are going trying to do here yeah 
So this D1, whatever I written, no, this is the overall depth of the footing. But since it's a slope footing, your shuttering will be done only up to this portion, isn't it? Your shuttering is only up to this portion. This only here your shuttering will come. That means we need to consider D2 depth now. Why? Again, for the very same reason that which I've shown you through this drawing. See, this is at D, D2. Okay. Only here shuttering will come. Above this, there is no shuttering. The slope you are going to give. Okay. So th that is why what you need to do, you need to take care of that D2 portion now. So what is written here? D2. Now, what is this D2? You have to check it in the drawing where the D2 is given. So we'll check it in the drawing where the D2 is given. So the D2 is 200 mm and the D2 is 200 mm, both sides, 200 and 200. So in the Excel sheet, what you do, you have to put 0 0.2 here and 0 0.2 here. And you can even put a remark here because now people may get confused. This guy has written 600 and 600, but here he has taken 0 0.2, 0 0.2. So you can make one remark here. Remark. Okay. So that sometime even if you get confused, you'll, you can refer here. Okay. Since slope footing, footing this D equal to 0 0.2 meter from drawing, or even you can mention the drawing number from drawing, uh, from drawing, that's it. If, if, if it is a very big project and all, you mention the drawing number so that directly you can come to that drawing and you can refer it. Okay. Pretty simple. I think you got the quantity. So you'll get 48 point, 48 square meter. Okay, done. Now the last point is the putting concrete quantity. Now for concrete quantity, what will happen? This portion will not work out, right? This whatever we have done, this won't work out for footing shuttering quantity, for footing concrete quantity. We need to use this particular Excel sheet, which I created, right? Where is that? Yeah, this is the Excel sheet what I had created. So what you can do, you can add the same thing over there. I'll tell you how it has to be done, putting concrete quantity. For that, this uh, Excel sheet will not work out. You have to uh, calculate the separate Excel sheet. Okay. I mean, you can use even this Excel sheet. See, you use this Excel sheet, no problem. Whatever values you get, directly you can do the input there. Otherwise, in this, you have to make a, this thing. What is that? Addition you are supposed to do. Uh, you can first uh, do the concrete quantity for the rectangular portion, then you can do it for the trapezoidal portion, then you can say total concrete. What I'm trying to tell is I'll delete everything. Okay. I'll delete this part. This part will delete for concrete quantity. First, we'll write this. Okay. I'll write this control C right here, control V. Similarly, right here also control V. Okay. Concrete quantity. So it is cubic meter and cubic meter. Fine. So number you copy from here, 16 and 8, no? So this is 16 and 8. This is also 16 and 8, okay? This portion, you take it out. So you, if you want, you can insert one more, uh, this thing here, so that you can write here. Again, one you can insert, okay? And you can write here. Uh, yeah. Here you can write. I'll write here. This is my trapezoidal portion. Okay. Otherwise, see, if you're capable, you can do everything in a single uh, Excel sheet only. Uh, you don't have to separate like a, a rectangular portion, I'll write rectangular portion here. Okay. I'll write. Rectangular portion. Just for our easiness, I am doing this. Otherwise, you can follow even that also. Okay. No problem. This is F2, no? Yeah. Okay. No problem. I have written rectangular portion. This is trapezoidal portion. Okay. Yeah. So, rectangular portion is very simple. What you can do? 2.3. Okay. And this is also 2.3. And what is the depth? Depth directly footing depth you're supposed to take. That is only the rectangular portion. That is uh, 0 0.2 because wherever that shuttering has happened, no, this 0 0.2, I'll show it again. This portion, right now I'm calculating the concrete for this portion. Okay. So length and breadth remains the same. Only the, this depth will be D2. And D2 we already saw in the drawing now that the D2 is how much? 
So D2 is 200 and 200. So directly you take 200 from here. You can input 0 0.2 and you can input 0 0.2 here. Okay, done. Now come to the trapezoidal portion. For the trapezoidal portion, what you can do? What I'll do? No, I'll do very uh, simple trick. I'll do a very simple trick. I'll take out all this quantity. Okay, I'll remove everything. Huh? Directly what I'll do? I'll directly take this Excel sheet and here I'll input and get the value. You can create your own Excel sheet. Here I'll do that, okay? So what is my size of uh, F1 footing? It is 2.3. This is also 2.3, right? And this depth, overall depth, I'll bring that Excel sheet here. Yeah, 2.3, 2.3. D1 is my overall depth. So D1 is my overall depth and D2 is my that height 0.2. So 600, 0 0.6, 0 0.6 and this will be 0 0.2. So this height I'm going to get as 0 0.4. That is this height will be 0 0.4. Now, what is B? B is your column dimension. Okay, now what you're supposed to do, go back to this uh, drawing. Uh, yeah. Go back to this drawing. See, wherever F1 footing is there, F1 footing C1 column, F1 footing C1 column, F1 footing C1 column, F1 C1, 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 then F1 C1, F1 C1, then F1 C1, F1 C1, F1 C1. That means wherever F1 footing is there, over that C1 column is there. And what is the size of C1 column? That we have to see now. So to get the size of C1 column, it is mentioned here, C1 column, okay? Size is 400 is the breadth and 450 is the depth of that column, okay? So it is mentioned 400 is the breadth and uh, 450 is the depth. So you input the same thing in the Excel sheet. So breadth is 0 0.4 and depth is 0 0.45, isn't it? 0 0.45, done. Now this column offset I want. So column offset, how you are going to get? Again, you have to refer to the drawing. Okay. So this is the drawing what I'm supposed to refer. So you, you see here, it is mentioned D3 or D4. D3 or D4. That means D3 is for a shorter side and D4 is for the longer side. Okay. Anything is okay because anyhow, yeah, no, then that variation will come. Wait, I'll tell you. For that, you refer this plan. Okay. So in the plan, you see, okay, this is D3 and this is D4, okay? So this is D3, horizontal part is D3 and this part is D4, okay, that is, now again, in this you have to check which is breadth and which is uh, this thing, okay? So this is B1, yeah, this is breadth and this is length, see? Now you may get confused, sir, D3 where we have to take? So this D3 you have to take parallel to the length side, this is length and this is breadth, okay? You're getting my point? Now my intention is to find this, this area. Now my intention is to find this area of the column. Okay. In that, already this column dimension I know, it is 400. This column dimension I know, it is 400 by 450. So which is 400 in this? Shorter side is, uh, shorter side is 400. So it's given here, see? This is length portion. This is breadth portion. Okay. So length portion will be always bigger you take this as 0 0.45 length portion okay and this will be 0 0.4 okay 0 0.4 now this is d3 this is also d3 which is d3 how we are going to take d3 so whichever is parallel to the length parallel to the length is d3 okay this is d3 so what i'll do d3 you won't get it here for d3 i have to refer here so d3 is 500 D4 is also 500 for F1 footing. Okay, you have to understand for F1 footing, your D3 is 500, D4 is also 500. That means here also it is 500, here also it is 500. So my calculation remains simple. Go to the Excel sheet and here you have to write 0 0.5 column offset. Okay, done. So once you do this, you get all the area. So the total uh, concrete quantity total concrete quantity what you have got is 2.47. So in this Excel sheet, you come, you can input here 2.0. Here you input, here you input the value as 
directly here you input the value. Two point four seven. Okay, and then two point four seven into sixteen number of footings are there, so it comes out to be thirty nine point five two. Okay, so again uh, we'll go back to that sheet. Two point four seven and uh, shuttering area was one point eight four. We'll verify whether for F one we have got one point eight four or not in shuttering. Yeah, you see here one point eight four we got now shuttering area for F one. And same thing through this Excel sheet, we have verified the answer. Okay. Yeah, you can see one point eight four, and here also we got one point eight four for F one footing. Now we'll do for F two footing. Okay. For F two footing, what is the size? It should be two point nine. Breadth is also two point nine. Okay. And this depth, depth will check. Two point nine to depth six hundred. This is two hundred. Okay. This is six hundred. This is two hundred, and uh, okay, this remains the same. Six hundred, two hundred. This will be point four, and this B and D. B and D is a breadth and depth of your column, isn't it? So now this F two footing, where it is lying, this F two footing. Yeah, I want the plan now. Yeah, see, you are on F two footing. Again, C one column is there. Okay, on F two footing, we have C one column. On F two footing, we have few C two columns. So now, what we can do in F two footing, we have few C two column. On F F two footing, we have few. On F two footing, we have few C one column. But since the column size is same, since the column size for both it is same, we don't have problem now. So I'll go here. See here. For both the column, four hundred by four fifty. C two column is also four hundred by four fifty. So it doesn't matter directly. You can input four hundred by four fifty here. So four hundred and four fifty. Now column offset I require. Okay. So column offset. Go back to the drawing. So in this drawing, what is the column offset given? It is given five fifty and five fifty. Okay. Both D three and D four. Both it is five fifty. Okay. No problem. So come here. Go to the Excel sheet. Input five fifty, so zero point five 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 fifty. Done. You got the answer. So the answer is total concrete quantity is three point seven zero. Just input here three point seven zero. Three point seven zero, and three point seven zero into eight will give you twenty nine point six. So the total concrete quantity will be eighty one point six zero cubic meter. Now also. Try to see the shuttering quantity here. What is the shuttering we got? Two point three two, and here you can see already two point three two we have got, right? The manual this thing already we had done. No, uh, for footing separately I had done. Okay, but concrete quantity I used that uh, Excel sheet and I did it. So eighty one point six zero, okay, twenty nine forty forty sixty sixty seven and five eighty two. Yeah, so eighty one point six zero cubic meter of uh, concrete. This is not forty eight. So this will be how much? This will be twenty four only because two times I've added. No, that is why. Yeah. So this will be twenty four only. This will be twenty four only. Okay. Good. So in this way, we have found the footing concrete quantity and all those things. Okay. I hope you have got an idea how all these things has to be done. Okay. Otherwise, you can even use this Excel sheet and do it individually. And then you can uh, link it here. That also you can do. Else here itself, I can I could have put the formula, but again it will be a lengthy process, so I didn't do that. Hmm? Try to do it manually and let me know how much answer you are getting. Okay, almost everything is correct. There is no wrong in this. If something goes wrong, just tell tell me. Okay, yeah. So after this, what will left what is left out? After this, the shuttering work for the neck column till the plinth beam, and the shuttering work for the uh, this thing, uh, concreting work is left out. That also I'll explain you, but you do it on your own. See here. That part is given here. That part is already given. Now I need to find the shuttering quantity up to the top of the plinth beam from here. Okay. So how I'm going to do it? It's very simple. See, this is two meter. This is two meter. In this, I'll deduct this depth. This D1 I'll deduct. That is from F1 footing. Whatever is D1, that is 0.6. I guess that I'll deduct. 
so i'll get height up to this portion i'll get height up to this portion okay and from finish ground level to this top it is 0 0.20 toc means top of the concrete plinth beam top level should be 0 0.20 this is 0 0 level this is 0 0.2 that means this height is 200 mm very simple you are getting my point this height is 200 mm this height what you have it is 200 mm how how can i tell that it is 200 this is 0 0 level this is at a height of 0 0.20 meter which is 200 mm so this height is obviously 200 mm so just add 200 mm to this particular portion you will get your height of the uh, shuttering will quickly do that also not an issue so what i can do is uh, i'll go here to the excel sheet okay yeah but for this i need to write that also like c1 column on f1 footing c2 column on f2 footing uh why okay I'll, I'll explain you that also see uh, there are a lot of things to be done i'll take it out okay what you're supposed to do now first you count okay this is very important see F1 footing, what all columns are there? On F1 footing, C1 column is there. 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there are 16 columns. That means you have to write here. Yeah, C1 column on F1 footing. So how many numbers are there? 16 numbers are there. Okay, fine. So next, what you're supposed to find? Next, you're supposed to find the shuttering quantity. So what is the size of C1 column? So I'll write here the size of C1 column is 450 by 450. Okay, and C2 column size is also 450 by 450. Here, the column size is same. So I'll write, so by default, 0 0.45, 0 0.45 is already written. Now coming to the, okay, I'm, I'm doing the concrete quantity, you know, I have to go to the top. Wait, just give me a minute. Okay, here itself I'll change it. Okay. I'll write shuttering here, no problem. Okay. Uh, this is shuttering done. So I, I I require the perimeter part now. So this is of no use to me. This portion and this portion is of no use to me. So shuttering, but how I will do? Yeah, shuttering how we are going to do very simple equal to 4 into 0 0.45 okay perimeter i found and this perimeter will be multiplied by the depth okay so depth i'll tell you how, how much you have to take now so depth will be what is the overall height it is given 2 meter see here this is 2 meter from 2 meter i'll deduct d1 so d1 for f1 footing is how much we need to check that also now so D1 for F1 footing, for F1 footing, my D1 is 600. So 2 minus 0 0.6, I'll put it in Excel sheet, 2 minus 0 0.6, okay? But I think there's one more thing we need to check out. That is, yeah, yeah, correct. So 2 minus this one I did, okay, 0 0.6, okay? Then I reached up to this level. And from here, I'll add 0.2 to that because your print beam, I told, this is 0.2, okay, 200 mm. So, plus 0.2. Yeah, I got the height. So, just multiply this. 1.6 into 1.8 will give me 2.88. And 2.88 into 16 will give me 46.08. So, 16 into 2.88 will give me 46.08. Fine. Next, come to the second footing, second column. So, again, you go back to the drawing. Again, in the drawing, you need to check. See, now you see, now on F2 footing, we have C1 column. And also on F2 footing, we have C1 column also. We have C1 column. You see here on F2 footing, C2 column. So first we'll check those columns. We'll check C1 column. So F2 footing on C1 column, I'll do a tick mark here. Okay. Yeah. So C1 column, 1. F2 C1, I need to check. F2 C1, F2 C1. Wait, let me, yeah. This one, so F2 C1, this is F2 C1. Then again, F2 C1. 
एफ टू सी वन या दैट्स ऑल नो अदर हाउ मेनी हाउ मेनी आर देर वन टू थ्री एंड फोर सो राइट हियर सी वन कॉलम ऑन एफ टू फुटिंग हाउ मेनी आर देर फोर आर देर ओके the perimeter of course it will be 4 into this thing perimeter remains the same no problem and then this height this height you need to check now so how we are going to check the same thing i'll bring here and now i'll do the change that is 2 minus now this is resting on f2 footing isn't it so since it is resting on f2 footing i need to check the f2 footing depth that is also 600 see this is also 600 no problem f2 footing is also 600 so no problem directly you can take it as Minus zero point six and plus zero point two. So this remains the same. So this answer also we get the same thing. Two point eight eight into uh, four will get eleven point five two. Next last one we have C two column because there was C two column also C two column on F two footing. Okay. Uh, again the size of your C two column is also four fifty by four fifty. Okay, just drag it square meter, and here everything remains the same because nothing will change here. Okay, C two column size is also same on F two footing it is resting, so this also remains the same, this also remains the same, this also remains the same. Only the thing is in the number I need to find. So number I can find easily. How? Sixteen plus four is twenty. Totally we had twenty two. Twenty two minus twenty two should be the answer here. So we'll see whether we are getting two or not. Okay, you can do that reverse calculation also. So, let me check. Okay, uh, that is what should I check? F two C two. I need to check. So F two C two one. F two C two two. Okay. No, no. I think I've uh, gone wrong. Wait, wait, wait. F two C two. No. So what is the total number of footing? Oh, uh, it is twenty four. Sorry, not twenty two. Okay. Then I am correct. It should be twenty four. So this is wrong here. This should be twenty four. If it is twenty four, then this should be four. Very simple. Yeah. Now we'll verify. Now we should get correct answer. Yeah. See F two C two, F two C two. Then again, F two C two, F two C two. Is there anything F two C two here? No. So one two three four exactly. So four we got. So that is why I have written four here. Okay, now rest things will happen same. So total shuttering quantity. Sorry, yeah, this is shuttering quantity. Okay, this is total shuttering. So total shuttering quantity up to the plinth beam top is sixty nine point one two. Okay, yeah, forty six plus eleven is fifty seven. Fifty seven plus eleven, sixty seven. All this will yeah, we'll check it. Forty six, fifty six, sixty six, sixty seven. Okay, done. Find it is correct. Now last what is left out? Concrete quantity is left out. So concrete quantity how we are going to do? Very simple. Just copy everything. Okay. The same thing you copy. Copy. Uh, shattering. Yeah. Concrete quantity. I'll write here. Okay. For this, uh, I'll paste it. And this let me remove. And this I'll put it in cubic meter. Okay. And I'll drag it. Hmm? So everything is correct. So what you are supposed to do? Concrete quantity is zero point four five. This also will be zero point four five. Everywhere it is zero point four five. So just drag it. This also you drag it. Okay. And this height was one point six everywhere. Yeah, one point six. One point six. One point six. So it is one point six. So point four five into point four five into one point six will give me. 0.72 and 0.72 into 16 will give me 11.52. Similarly, I did for this column also, which is lying on F2 footing. Here also it is 2.88, and this also it is 2.88. Okay. Yeah. So total concrete quantity up to the plinth beam top, this is cubic meter, will be 17.28 cubic meter. 11 plus 2 is 13. 13 plus 2 is 15, and then this. All things, yeah. Seventeen point two eight. Let me verify. Eleven point five two plus two point eight eight. Two point eight eight. Yeah, seventeen point two eight. Got it. Yeah. 
So in this way, we have found uh, this thing. The entire uh, quantity estimation for the slope footing has been done. Now, what is the last part which is left out? That is your backfilling quantity. Quickly, can you do the backfilling quantity? Let me do that. Okay. Okay. Backfilling quantity will be total excavation quantity. Tell me what is the total excavation quantity. So the total excavation is 530 minus minus your uh, store. There was no stone soling here. Minus PCC quantity minus putting a uh, concrete quantity. So this much footing concrete will go. Okay. Minus column concrete quantity. So in the column concrete quantity, I have taken up to the plinth beam top. Uh, I need to, if you want, you can deduct it, but here I'm not doing it's okay. So 418.33 is my backfilling soil. I'll also do the 80% of this. That is 0 0.8 into uh, back total excavation quantity. The total excursion is 530. So how much I'm getting? Okay, it's not happening. Multiply by 530. Five thirty. You remember? Else we'll do it here. It's not coming. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Wait. I'll do this five thirty only directly. Plus sign. I need to put. Yeah. You see, four twenty four is coming. Okay. See that was slight variation will happen. No, not a problem. Okay. Actually, it will come almost same. Slight variation is because extra quantity we have taken. No. Okay. But almost same. Okay. Seventy five to eighty percent. I could have taken even seventy five percent of this. It varies from 75 to 80. That is why that variation will come. Yeah, almost 400 and 418 is actual quantity what we have got. We're okay with that. Okay. So in this way, you're supposed to do the quantity estimation for the uh, trapezoidal footing. Everything is same. Only that trapezoidal portion will come that you need to take care of. Right. So I hope you enjoyed my lecture up to here. So you got a complete idea how the trapezoidal footing uh, or the slope footing, concrete quantity, the shuttering quantity has to be done. So we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.